All right, that, that, that's kind of funny. I think my, my most important, the most essential, number one, single most important advice to someone who is dealing, who's responsible of employee communication or corporate, internal corporate communication is probably start to accept the reality. And I can tell you what I mean with that. If you take a look at, at companies, especially the large enterprises, if you take a look how they are dealing with employee communication, internal communication, it's still, still in 2020, it is about intranet, it is about emails, it is also very often about a printed corporate newspaper which is published every once a month or something like that. Now, if you take a look at yourself, take a step back, reflect, how do you how do you actually consume content? How do you consume information today? And 100% your answer will be, it's about this one here. This is your source of information. This is your source of information, of content. Within your private life, you rely on all those apps installed here. It's about Facebook, it's about Instagram, it's about Twitter, it's about newspaper app, whatever kind of app. This is where you get your information from, this is where you get your content from. The single most important advice to people who are dealing with employee communication is start to accept the reality that as long as your information, as long as your content is not available at this device, the content simply is irrelevant. There are two things to get to make it practical, two things that you have to change. First of all, you have to deploy a mobile only or at least mobile first strategy when it comes to employee communication. You have to have a, a perfect app on this device where all the content comes in. A app that lets your employee actually decide when, how and where they consume your corporate content, your corporate information. When they're exercising in the gym, they're having their morning coffee, they're commuting, whatever they are doing, whenever they want to, it is their choice. This is the reality. You have to accept that you can like it or not, this is not the question. But if you want to get your message, and by the way, I have a lot of, a lot of people from companies telling me, okay, we, 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 we put out that content, but nobody listens to it, nobody reads it. And, Tell you, of course nobody reads it, of course nobody listens to it, because you're using the wrong channels. This simple, straightforward answer. Now, the second practical aspect that comes with it is that you have to start to really produce content, a humongous amount of content. It is not about publishing the CEO's message once a month or once um, every quarter. It is about creating a huge, huge amount of content. Content of different forms, audio, videos, visuals, written word, whatever it might be. And establish a continuous content communication information flow to that device. And then you have the choice to win the thing that I always like to call the battle of attention because this is what you are fighting when you're in employee communication, when you're dealing with employee communication, with internal corporate communication. Your employees are continually, or have to continually decide whether they spend the next five minutes with checking their Facebook timeline, or publishing a tweet, writing a tweet, or checking Instagram, or reading an email, whatever it might be. This is the battle of attention you're in. And you have to win that. That means you have to have a perfect app, you have to have compelling content, lots of compelling content, a steady information flow, and then we are talking. This is my number one biggest, most important advice to someone who is dealing with employee communication or internal corporate communication, period.